Hi guys, today we are going to see the numericals based on two film theory. This is one of the most widely used theories for understanding the mass transfer processes in the biological systems. So before going into the numericals, we let's uh, have a briefing over the concept. What exactly two film theory is all about? Okay. So the two film theory, one important consideration is there should be two immiscible systems. It may be a combination of liquid and a liquid or a liquid or a gas. Okay. Now here in this diagram we have taken let us consider there are two liquids liquid 1 and liquid 2 both are immiscible in nature like suppose liquid 1 is your water liquid 2 is your oil both if you put in a beaker they tend to form two separate layers okay when they form two separate layers there is a boundary or the interface which is separating them there is an interface of liquid 1 and liquid 2 right so according to the two film theory Along this interface, okay, either this side or this side, there is another boundary that is getting formed. These are called as boundary layers. So the boundary layer forming towards the side of liquid 1 is called as boundary layer of liquid 1 and that getting formed at the side of liquid 2 is called boundary layer of liquid 2. Sometimes these are also known as stagnant liquid films and from here only the term comes to film theory so these are also known as stagnant liquid film so you can say stagnant liquid film of liquid 2 and stagnant liquid film of liquid 1 when we move uh, away from the boundary layers then the bulk phase starts in this bulk phase we presume that it is properly mixed and there doesn't exist any concentration gradient means the concentration of solute remains constant throughout this bulk phase. So let's see what exactly is the mechanism of transfer of a solute from one liquid to the other. So this is I have created as solute A. We are considering this as a solute A. The concentration of that solute is CaL1 means the concentration of solute A in liquid 1. Okay. As I told clearly that it is a properly mixed system, the bulk phase and there doesn't exist uh, any concentration gradient means the solute concentration remains constant everywhere. So the solute concentration is constant everywhere until and unless the bulk or the boundary layer reaches. Okay. Within the boundary layer there is the actual resistance felt by the solute for the mass transfer process. Okay. Here, with the distance, the concentration tends to reduce until unless the interface boundary is or the interface layer is reached. Okay, so here the concentration remains constant, and then there is a linear decrease in the concentration from this point to the interface of the liquid one and liquid two. At the interface, the concentration of uh, uh, this component A, let's say it is CaL1, the concentration of liquid A in, oh sorry, concentration of solute A in liquid 1 at the interface boundary, right? Now, at this interface, we presume that there is no accumulation of solute that is occurring, okay? And the concentration of the solute in liquid 1 remains in equilibrium with the concentration of the solute at the interface in liquid 2 okay so these concentration and this concentration are in equilibrium with each other no matter what happens they will remain at one equilibrium okay and because they are at equilibrium and interface doesn't allow any accumulation the solute from liquid 1 can easily at the interface can easily jump into liquid 2 okay so this happens this is how the solute is getting transferred from liquid 1 to liquid 2 fine now let's see the mass transfer within the liquid 2 now we know that the concentration of uh, solute a in liquid 2 at the interfacial boundary has come to be cal2 at the interface fine 
again we are seeing there is a boundary layer existing this boundary layer is for liquid too so because it is a boundary layer it will it will be posing some resistance so the concentration will eventually decrease until and unless the boundary layer ends after this as we say that the bulk is properly mixed the concentration at this point will remain constant throughout the bulk so this is how exactly the solute a is getting transferred through multiple steps to from liquid 1 to liquid 2 i hope this is clear to you all now this film theory has one equation associated with it it states that the mass transfer rate of solute a is equal to dab this is diffusivity coefficient dab bracket the concentration of solute a at the interface when we are considering particularly liquid 2 so the concentration of solute a in liquid 2 at the interface minus the concentration of solute a in the bulk phase of liquid 2 okay so just remember that because the mass transfer can only occur from the high concentration to the low concentration so that's why i am writing here because at the interface the concentration is very high at the uh, bulk phase the concentration is low that's why the mass transfer direction is in this direction okay mass transfer rate of solute a in liquid 2 is equal to dab means diffusivity coefficient of component a or you can say the solute a in actually liquid 2 okay so dal2 in brackets cal2 at the interface minus cal2 in the bulk phase divided by delta which delta you are going to consider you are going to consider this delta the film thickness why because the mass transfer which you are considering is on this side of the interface so the boundary which you have to consider should also be on the this side so this will become delta 2 i hope this is clear to all so this is the formula which is associated with the two film theory now let's go to the numerical let's understand this numerical first this numerical states that there is oxygen that needs to be transferred to the fermentation broth so there is a interface the gas and liquid cannot mix with each other so this is the gas phase and this is the liquid phase liquid is your fermentation broth gas is your oxygen this numerical also says that they are only considering the stagnant liquid film they want how much of the oxygen is getting transferred from this position into the bulk liquid okay they are not considering in any sense about gas phase so they only want how much the gas is getting transferred from this interface to the bulk of the liquid okay so the boundary layer thickness they have also given so this boundary layer thickness is actually boundary layer thickness of the liquid phase not for the gas phase okay so this they have given as 5.2 micrometers they have also given you diffusivity okay diffusivity of oxygen into the fermentation broth so they are saying this rate of diffusion or the diffusivity is actually 7 point diffusivity of oxygen into the fermentation broth you can write like this equal to 7.5 into 10 to power minus 10 meter square per second you can convert this unit 5.2 micron into 5.2 into 10 to the power minus 6 meters okay what they are asking you they are asking you k this is the mass transfer coefficient mass transfer coefficient and this is given by dab divided by the thickness of that film which you are considering so they have given you d oxygen fb like diffusivity of oxygen into fermentation broth equal to 
सेवन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस टेन डिवाइडेड बाय दे हैव गिवन यू द थिकनेस ऑफ द फिल्म एज वेल द थिकनेस ऑफ द फिल्म इज फाइव पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सिक्स ओके सो योर के विल एंड अप इन टू के वैल्यू विल बिकम फाइनली वन पॉइंट फोर फोर टू इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस फोर मीटर पर सेकेंड बिकॉज फ्रॉम वेयर द यूनिट्स आर कमिंग द यूनिट ऑफ डिफ्यूसिबिलिटी इज मीटर स्क्वायर सेकेंड्स मीटर स्क्वायर पर सेकेंड एंड यूनिट फॉर दिस थिकनेस इज मीटर सो मीटर मीटर कैंसिल सो फाइनली इट टर्न्स आउट टू बी मीटर पर सेकेंड आई होप दिस न्यूमेरिकल इज क्लियर टू आर If you have any other further queries regarding this concept please uh, let us know thank you so much